in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize a dummy or NPC in Roblox Studio, which is really easy to do. Now, before we get started, make sure to go ahead and join our Roblox group. Link in the description below. So now you want to go ahead and go to Roblox Studio. You want to go ahead and go to Avatar and go to Rig Builder. And from here, you can generate a rig, which will make our dummy, basically. You can choose a rig type, R15, which is 15 body parts, R6, which is 6 body parts. Uh, it would be easier to pose with R6, but we're going to do R15 because that's a more used one today. And you can do My Avatar, which was just be a clone of yourself a skin avatar which would be arfro basically and then arfro avatar but we can go ahead and choose the block one because it's just the normal one the classic one of course then go ahead and put them down on the base plate so the first thing i'm gonna go ahead and do is change the body colors of the character now i'm gonna change it to whatever i basically want you can go ahead and go to the properties tab which should be below the explorer tab and you can change the head color and all that stuff i did the weight color for the arms and the head and then for the legs i did like a dark green and then for the torso i did red which kind of looks like an owl to me this is, has those christmas colors you know what i mean and that's why i would make it look like if it didn't have any cloves but i'm probably gonna have cloves on it later now let's go ahead and go into head and remove the face image it should be labeled faces go ahead and delete that so we can go ahead and just put on our own face go to the toolbox so you want to go ahead and go to images in the toolbox and from here you can go ahead and set, try to search up what kind of face you want you can search up smiling or happy i'm gonna find a laughing face personally for my character wants to find a good face and and uh, there it is. We'll go ahead and put that on the head. And yeah, it looks really great. It looks even better than before. And now we're going to go ahead and find some hair that we can put on our character. And I just found something basic, some brown hair, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it before. I'm going to go ahead and check that hair, which is going to be called hat sometimes. Just make sure there's nothing bad in there. And then you can go ahead and drag and put it into the character. And it should automatically put the hair on the character, which makes it really easy. Now it's starting to look pretty good. But we're just getting started. You want to go ahead and right click on the dummy. And you want to go down and in insert a object and from here we're going to go ahead and add the shirt and the pants which aren't going to have anything right away we're going to go ahead and click on these okay and from when we do that i'm just going to go ahead and rename these shirt and pants so i like to have things organized when i'm in roblox studio personally you don't have to do that but anyways you want to go to the properties and you can see shirt template which is basically the id of the shirt i want to go ahead and go to the roblox catalog and find some clothing so go ahead and click on clothing in category and go down to classic shirts i'm going to find a shirt first so go ahead and search for what you want or just find the shirt that you want to add to your character I think it's way better this way than trying to switch it up in the toolbox. And then I found some pants as well. I'm just going to go ahead and make a new tab. And from here, I found this really cool shirt. You want to go ahead and go to the link above and copy that number, control C, and then go down here, do control V and just paste it right in there. And then it should load and boom, just like that. It looks really great. And I'm going to also get these pants as well to so do the same thing, copy the number and go ahead and paste it into the pants template. And there it is. He has clothes and it looks even better than before. He looks like he's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. And then I went to go ahead and change the body colors because I didn't really need that if it already had clothes on it. It makes it look better. And then I had to add new hair because the other hair like disappeared and something was wrong with it. And then I got some awesome shades for the character, which matches really well with the rest of his outfit. Go ahead and drag that into there and should put it on him. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust this so it looks a little bit better. It's kind of hard to see the shades. And yeah, it looks pretty great. I think our character looks amazing. There's a lot more accessories and you can also do a pose for with him if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and play test the game. Now we can go ahead and look at the the dummy and see how it looks in person you know as we're playing the game as you can see the shades do not stay where i wanted them to because he's not anchored which anchored makes him stay in place and that way you can also pose him if you want as well which i didn't do in this tutorial which my bad but anchor him which is up top that button and then we'll go ahead and rename him from dummy to flint so he actually has a good name uh and as you can see i'm back in the game and the shades stayed in place because i anchored him that's how you basically customize a dummy npc in roblox studio make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe if you found this helpful and if you want to learn how to make dialogues for characters and stuff in roblox studio go ahead and watch the video on the screen right now